some really terrible things can happen psychologically when we make bad choices or choices without thinking things through. Um, and it, these are bad psychologically. These are bad for the culture. What I've seen happening lately is people want um, someone that they can canonize, turn into a, a saint for whatever reason, whether it be they just want to go cause violence and destruction or whether they think there's actually something that they need to be fixing or whatever it might be. It doesn't really matter that so much as what people are doing leading up to that and what who they're choosing as their their idols and their saints and um, Jordan Peterson talks a lot about how um, back in World War II in Germany um, people just kind of got carried away they they sort of started they, their egos identified with a cause and then they started identifying with the cause and instead of saying whoa hold up hold up hold up this has gone too far I'm wrong they ended up doing terrible things and that wasn't really them that was their identification and the ego is really strong so it it messes with us in, in so many different ways and I've done other videos about that but one of the things that it does is when it says this is me I have identified with this I am on team orange then from now on everything that's blue or yellow or green they are less than anything that is orange and instead of admitting to being wrong people will go to the lengths of killing other people or in some cases even killing themselves I mean if you look at um, some cults that have risen up in the past they've been willing to kill people and they have been willing to take their own lives as opposed to just standing up and saying I was wrong this 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 isn't who I'm supposed to be this isn't how we're supposed to be and it seems like it would be simple and we all like to think because our ego tells us to that we could just back off whatever it is really easily and just say oh no I was wrong but that's not the case if you look at um, some of the people who have um, died it, when they were dealing with police um, the first reaction is oh I'm gonna get on the side of that person um, that person who was shot by the police and you might be right doing that maybe maybe that was a bad cop maybe that was a cop that just wanted to kill somebody but that's unlikely so what you've done is you've already idolized that person you know nothing about them you know nothing about the circumstances leading up to it and so you've attached yourself you're on that team now and so all other teams are wrong and so you're on the team of that person and then you later find out that that person had committed some rather heinous crimes that person was attacking the police that you know whatever the situation might have actually been that led up to that but now you can't just say oh hold on I was wrong because your ego stops you from doing that to your ego being wrong is like dying and it doesn't want to die so it maintains that life that it has being identified with this thing so now you're gonna do all these mental gymnastics you're gonna come up with all these crazy reasons that that if you looked at them objectively or you heard somebody else saying them about a different event you would say that is absolutely insane and you're sitting there doing it to yourself you're coming up with all of these crazy ways to convince yourself that you were actually right in the first place even though if you stood back for just a second and looked at it you'd say whoa hold on we are not going in the right direction here so you would rather do something like kill people burn a city um, harass people whatever it might be so that you don't have to say I was wrong and believe me I know I'm not I'm not just pointing fingers what I'm saying is that I've had this happen to me before I understand it and the cure for it is to not identify so strongly with things not jump into oh I 100% believe this or I you know I'm against that or whatever it might be hold off because 
the more softly and gently your ego is identified with something, the easier it is to say, I was wrong or I changed my mind or something like that. But in this case of um, picking these, these people inappropriately to be our saints and our heroes and our martyrs, um, we, we do all kinds of damage to ourselves, and it's not just this it's not just this ego thing it's um, we we have no reason to uh, to improve and grow as people because if these horrible people over here can be saints and they can be idolized and they can have entire communities behind them then and and they're they're bad people they've committed these these heinous crimes and so I look at my life and I'm like, well, I haven't committed any crimes like that. And nobody knows my name. Well, I guess uh, society is telling me that the way to be known, the way to be respected, the way to get my face written up on a, a big wall is to do something absolutely horrible and hurt other people. And that's what it's telling you and it's telling society and it's telling your, your brothers and your sisters and your friends and your neighbors. They're learning this too. So they're learning that people are going to idolize those who are bad. Is that what we want in society? And I mean, we don't have... Um, when this happens, we also, we're losing our, our motivation to grow as people. I'm like, well, if he got idolized and he was doing that to people then the few things I'm doing, nah, I probably don't need to fix them. I don't need to grow as a person. I don't need to change because, I mean, if he's great, then I must be, I must be pretty damn awesome. And so, I mean, that's really destructive to the, the fabric of society, even the, the psyche of the person, because now you have this cognitive dissonance of what is good and what is bad. And like, it, it doesn't make any sense anymore. You know, is hurting people good now or what, where exactly are we? Um, so just always take a step back when something's going on, no matter how much you want to jump on, on that train, don't just, just stand back from, from what's going on for a second, look at it, wait for more information to come in and then make your decision. And then you don't look like an irrational person. You don't look like an irrational group when the time comes and there is actually a victim who was a kind decent person who was injured now that you've taken the time and you've seen who this person was and you can you can say objectively that is the kind of person i want to idolize that is the kind of person that i want to put up on a pedestal to be the martyr for whatever my cause might be and when you do that you're you're now promoting this this benefit to society instead of this injury to society and this injury to everyone's psyche now you're saying if you want to if you want to be idolized as a person you be the strong person you be the empowered person you be the person that does absolutely the best they can in their life and is a model for other people and then if something happens to you Let's hope that's not the only way you get recognized, but if something happens to you, you're idolized for the right reasons. And other people can look up to you honestly without that cognitive dissonance. They can truly look up to you and say, you know, if I die, I want to be known just like that guy. And can you say that about a lot of the, the heroes that are the ones that are um, being worshipped and idolized and made into saints and having riots in their names. Can we say that about those people? Can you honestly, can you honestly go and Google their name and not ignore bad information about them? Can you go on the computer, bring up whichever person and say, oh, <laughs> they were not involved in any kind of horrible dealings. They were not destroying the lives of other people they were not hurting other people they were not you know doing horrible things to these police officers like think about that because your subconscious knows and so long as your subconscious knows there's always going to be that clash 
between what you're trying to force yourself to think and what you truly believe and what you truly know. And that clash is going to come out in all kinds of ways, such as depression and anger and rage and violence and all these negative emotions. But when you don't have that clash, when you, when you align what you really think in your heart, what you know to be true, that's the, the subconscious mind. When you align that with all of the information that's out there and you know what you want for your life and what you want for your community then you don't have that anger anymore then you have this this peace this relaxed feeling and that's what we want to go for so as always be sure to hit like let me know what you guys think in the comments and share this with somebody you don't like